What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Cats to side you, everybody, everybody in between. Don't forget, don't forget the basics. Can't speak. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. So it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, just saying. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. If you'd like to donate, it's high priestess or apply. The links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I truly, truly do from the bottom of my heart chakra. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's high priestess or apply. It's very private and confidential. I don't share your business. Just saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, someone has been heavily blackmailed not to communicate with someone, but um it has backfired and it's going to continue to backfire it's about to happen that's what i heard so you plug it in how it resonates um downloads coming in today so someone's been heavily uh blackmailed sounds like in the past not to communicate with someone now it could be you they've been blackmailed not to communicate with or someone um or yeah it could be you they were blackmailed not to communicate with or um you were the blackmailer, or you were the blackmailer, how that resonates. My cards, I'm going to have to order some new cards. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. Um, but yeah, so however that resonates, but, um, but however that resonates, um, whether you were the blackmailer or you were the one blackmailed, basically I heard it's already backfired and it's going to continue to backfire. Um, and um, it's going to happen soon. So the communication is going to happen soon. Whether you're the one going to communicate with someone that you want to um, that you want to communicate with, and you were blackmailed so heavily in the past not to, to communicate with, or whether you were the blackmailer and it's back backfiring on you. However, that resonates because energies can be reversed, and so I feel like you go both ways. We have almost ten thousand four hundred people on here, so you know uh, there's. I get all kinds of downloads from the spiritual realm, but it's, I draw in the energy of you guys. So it's for somebody out there. So I feel it could be either way, either you're the blackmailer or you're the one that's being blackmailed. Um, because there's positive and negative out there in the universe, just seriously. And we all know that. So you could either be the blackmailer or you could be the one that was being blackmailed. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So um, I shuffled, I got pathway on the bottom of the deck, number 35 could be very significant in your life, number in your life in some shape or fashion, you could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible um, green card number, um, number 35. Open and clear, way open and clear now. And it's about to happen and happen quickly. But no, there needs to be honesty there. Complete honesty. This person does not mess around. And you know they don't because of the past. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So I heard open and honest. There needs to be open and honest communication there. So if you're the one that was blackmailed, a spiritual message, download on that. Of course, you can take it or leave it. Um, you need to be open and honest with whoever you want to communicate with. Um, if you were the one that was blackmailed, you need to be open and honest because I heard this person does not mess around because of the past. So um, they've been through something. The person that you were blackmailed not to communicate with, they have been through something. Very, very, very traumatic. Very. But they have healed inside themselves, but they truly do not mess around. Okay, I heard they've been through something very, very, very traumatic. So the person you've been blackmailed not to communicate with, whether it's text, messenger, um, email, or face-to-face, -face, um, however you plan on communicating with this person, I heard they've been through a very traumatic experience in the past. But they have healed inside themselves. So they've done their healing, their shadow work. They have healed themselves. They're healed. Um, or healing, how that resonates. Um, but they do not mess around. They do not mess around with people or situations or take no BS, basically, because they've been through so much crap with the traumatic experience or experiences. And absolutely, um, do no harm, take no shit. But whoever this person is, 
somebody harmed them in some shape, form, or fashion. So much so it created some kind of traumatic experience or experiences, um, if that makes sense. So you, person that was blackmailed, um, the spiritual guidance here is basically you've got to be very open and honest. If you plan on communicating, whether it's through email, text, messenger, or face-to-face, -face, or letter in the mail, snail mail, you need to be very open and honest and clear about it because this person has been through so much, even though they've done their healing and their shadow work and they've really worked on themselves, they don't mess around because they know how evil and malicious and nasty people are, basically. Um, and they don't mess around. And I heard the um, pathway is very, very, very open now. Very, very open and clear. So pathway open. You know, I just want to throw this in here real quick and then we'll continue. But somebody shouldn't have messed with this person to begin with. And I'm serious. They shouldn't have messed with them. Um, but they did. They did. And you were blackmailed. <laughs> uh, for some of you, for the ones that were blackmailed. For some, I feel you could be the blackmailer. Um, and it's about to backfire on you. But this isn't for you, person that was blackmailing. This is for the person that was blackmailed. Uh, just be mindful. Just be mindful. And hopefully, um, if this helps you, just be understanding that this person went through some serious traumatic experience or experiences. Um, just be, you know, be respectful of that, please. Be respectful of that. If this message is for you. Um, because you have to understand that. You have to understand um, it's good to put yourself in other people's shoes and to have empathy and sympathy for the situation is what I'm trying to say. Um, because you would want the same for you is what I'm trying to say. You need to treat others the way you want to be treated. Now, do people do that a lot? No, no, they don't. But we need more of that in the, in the world is what I'm trying to say. We really do. So if that helps somebody, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. Spirit messages you have for me. House, upright. Main female reversed. Number two or 20 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape or fashion. Number two or 20. They could be age of, uh, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible um, jersey number, uh, possible lottery number, et cetera, et cetera, two or 20. Main female or reverse. Someone's partner is about to pass away soon. Someone's partner is about to leave them unexpectedly out of the blue. And for some, this is someone uh, of your past that you wanted to be with. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, these are interesting messages. Okay, so for some of you guys, I feel the black male energy came from maybe your spouse or your partner, possibly. Because I heard for some, your spouse is about to pass away. For some, your partner is about to pass away. So like some kind of committed partner energy. Now, whether you have somebody on the side or not, I don't know all that. Didn't hear all that. Um, but you have a committed partner for at least one of you guys. One, you're uh, legally married. Now, whether you have somebody on the side or not, I don't know. I didn't hear all that. But somebody is legally married. Somebody has a committed partner. Um, the spouse is about to pass away for one of you guys. Committed partner is about to just up and leave you, just out of the blue. Like, leave, leave you. Like, leave Dodge. Um, and I think that's going to break now blacks. I can't speak. Ah. Break the black male energy for some of you guys. That's what I'm feeling. I think that's some of the breaking of the black male energy. I feel they have been blackmailing the hell out of you, but they can't blackmail you if they're if the death angels have taken them. And I'm serious about that. And for one, the partner's just about to up and just freaking leave you. So you're released, I guess. <laughs> I feel for some, it, um, you're not married, legally married to them. Or maybe you are and they just don't damn care and they're just going to, hop it, skip it, jump it away. I mean, I don't know. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But, um, and for some of you guys, the person that you're going to communicate with where the black male energy, I heard it's already um, been broken. And it, I mean, the pathway is just clear now. Um, it doesn't sound like it just was blown out of hell. Um, and it's just gone. It's it's gone now. Boom. Cup the magic driving. Um, but for some of you guys, you're still being blackmailed. I feel by your spouse. 
and committed partner, but the committed partner is about to up and go. So I think that's going to free you up um, or make you sad. I mean, I don't know. You can either be sad about that or glad. Um, everybody's different. But however that resonates, um, the pathway is open. It's open. It's open. It's open. And for some, the person you want to communicate with is someone you wanted to be with in the past. So main feel main female reverse. I feel this is maybe for some of you guys, your spouse is a female energy that's about to pass away, or you, um, or the committed partner that's about to just up and leave is a female energy, or the person you're about to communicate with that you wanted to be with in the past is a female energy. Or that can be masculine, it takes on heavy fem. However, that resonates, but we have main female reversed. Um, so that's what, how I feel it could go here, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, there's a reason it's main female, female reversed. I think it, the, I think for a lot of you guys, it, if you resonate with the message about the person you're about to communicate with from you, that you want to be with from the past, I think they're a feminine energy because they're coming up main female reversed. So you were never with them, like in a relationship or what have you, but you wanted to be. So they were never your main female, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and for some, the spouse passing away could be a fem energy, um, possibly. Or masculine takes on heavy female, maybe they're very emotional, um, possibly. This could be emotional energy and the feminine energy as well. Or it could actually be a physical female. You plug it in how it resonates. Number 20 could be a very significant number in one's life in some shape, form, or fashion. Number 20, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible jersey number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number. Number 20. Things are about to start moving fast, fast, fast. Someone's about to get inheritance money that was stolen from them. Someone's about to get a home from an inheritance that they should have gotten. For some, two plus homes they should have gotten. Whoa. So, okay. So, if this resonates for you, um, it sounds like balance, the true justice scales in the universe is about to balance this out. Um, whoever this is for, um, some of you guys are about to get two plus homes you should have got from a will or inheritance. Um, so for some one home, for some, um, uh, some kind of money, uh, from an inheritance, um, that could be a life insurance policy or some other kind of, um, money. It sounds like large amount of money from, um, a will or inheritance, whether it's life insurance money or something else. But, um. House upright. Um, I think this is the home or homes you were supposed to get from the will or inheritance. Let me see if I hear anything else. And someone's about to go to jail for doc for altering important legal documentation. They will go to prison for this. Oh my God! And someone's about to go to jail for altering legal documentation. Um, they will go to jail and then prison for this. Some kind of legal documentation they altered. They intentionally altered. I think it's regarding a home. Because um, we have house here. So I think it's regarding a home. But it, if it's not, it's regarding some kind of uh, legal documentation um, that they have. I heard they intentionally altered it. Um, they intentionally altered it. And I heard they're going to go jail and then prison for it. So for some, I feel that's how they sold your home. For some. Uh, maybe they altered the illegal documentation to steal your home or homes. From this will and inheritance for some uh for some it could be some other kind of legal documentation it could be medical legal documentation it could be um 
uh, financial, it could be life insurance policies, it could be, uh, it could be uh, home, like uh, deeds or uh, properties or vehicle, um, legal um, altering of documentation. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but I feel for some of you guys, it's actual, I uh, like deeds or something of that nature, because we have a house, we have a house. But you plug it in how it resonates. All right. And Aries is about to have a huge traumatic experience happen to them soon. They once gang stalked a family. Now they're about to become gang stalked. And it's about to become very, very, very serious. Very. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Aries energy in here. So I heard of Aries that once gang stalked a family. So they gang stalked a family in the past. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, also made him for Jupiter, masculine or fem Aries. Um, I heard they once gang stalked a family in the past, but I heard they're about to get gang stalked. They are. Um, and it's about to become very serious very quickly. So, um, and this Aries is not going to handle it near as well as the adult from the gang stalked home. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I heard it. And this Aries is not going to handle it near as well as the person from the gang stalk home. So, uh, to be honest, this reminds me of a little Secret 7 with the gang stalking in the family. Because the Secret 7 situation, the poor family was gang stalked for, like, years. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, but it, it don't have to be. It don't have to be. But, however, this Aries gang stalked the family is what I'm trying to say. Um, they gang stalked the family, but now they're about to get gang stalked. They are. Um, and I heard they're not going to handle it near as well as the adult from the gang stalked family. So that's what makes me think Secret 7 too, because single mom Leo. But you plug it in how it resonates. It's Aries energy. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, men, hand, or Jupiter, Tard. Gang stalking energy sounds like coming up for them. Um, I wonder if they, I wonder if they already have mental health issues or, um, if it's going to cause mental health issues. I don't know. I didn't hear any of that. That This is terrible. Um, but I've been gang stalked before. I've been gang stalked before. Y'all know what I have. I have. And um, it's really in all how you handle it. It's all in how you handle it. And that's the truth. Um, you are in control of yourself, your mind, and your body. So it's all in how you handle it. Um, but I heard this Aries is not going to handle it very well. I don't know if it's a masculine or fem Aries. They could have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, man, hammer, Jupiter, charts. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay. All right, I didn't. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and namaste.